channel. Um, I'm just going to do a little video today. Um, Isaac and I are going to a neighborhood barbecue. Um, so I'm going to just talk to you guys while I get ready, um, do my makeup because, you know, why not? It's the weekend. Please enjoy um, my beautiful hair. It's currently got some combing cream in it that's like, you know, making it, it'll be easier to brush when I take it out, so. But enjoy this look. This is, you know, very high fashion. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I brought you in a little bit closer to my face. Let's make sure you're in focus, 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 okay. Um, just brought you in a little bit closer so that you could see everything I was doing. I'm gonna use um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. There you go. Um, I, a lot of the items that I'm using today are new to me. Um, I recently picked them up or um, what have you, recently got them in the mail. Alright, so I am starting off with a base of um, the e.l.f. oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen and this is in porcelain. Um, it is six dollars. I just picked it up at Target so I've never used it. It's gonna be the first time I've used it. It might be a little bit light for this time of year. Um, I don't know. But I'm just going to put it on the areas of my face where I know I want extra coverage. And then I'll just blend it in with a beauty blender. Don't mind that. It's just a thing that fell. It's no big deal. It's my life working with it. All right, so I'm just going to blend that in. cheeks and because I don't like to wear heavy foundation it's hard to cover because you know either you wear heavy foundation and you cover it fully or you wear light foundation and you deal so I'm more on the deal side I really need just a tad bit more on my cheeks um, it's really bright in here so you're probably having a hard time telling but it's not super the coverage isn't great on my cheeks so the next thing I'm going to use, um, I'm going to go in with uh, the Match Perfection under my eyes from Rimmel. Um, I've never used this. Honestly, I'm not a huge concealer user. It's just not, it's never really been part of my regimen. And I know that's like <sighs> blasphemy, but it just hasn't. It's like, I don't know, I'm not super comfortable wearing it. Um, it's a little bit full for me as far as coverage. Um, I keep it pretty simple, so I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes with my finger, and then we'll go back in with the beauty blender. I think that might not be a very good color, but we'll see. We'll add a little bit to the cheek area too. back in with the beauty blender and just bounce that out oh yeah that definitely helped all right sorry i had to adjust the lights it was a little uh blinding as far as like you couldn't really even see any of the colors on the i have a window right next to me that brings in a lot of daylight so it's kind of messing with things all right i don't hate that so we'll move on so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, so I'll be right back. And we're back, like, you know, 30 minutes later. Not really, it was like five minutes, but we had a brow crisis. So um, yeah, nothing like doing your brows to remind you that you need to get your brows done. So um, if in case you're curious, I use the MAC uh, Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in the color Brunette for obvious reasons. Um, all right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to start playing around with my eyes a little bit. Um, I popped a little bit, but we'll put a little bit more. Pop 
Popped a little bit of concealer on my eyes just to play around as a base. Um, yeah. I took advantage um, as a mom on a budget. You often have to take advantage of deals. So I took advantage of this deal um, and picked up. Ooh, oh hey, all reflective. The Kylie um, Royal Peach Palette. Um, really not something I would have picked up for myself full price, but you know. It was on a deal. She was having a buy one, get one. So I ended up getting this and then I got um, a lip kit for no cost. So um, let's get started. Let's take a look. I'm gonna start by playing with this color right here and working that into my crease. Oh wow, these are super pigmented. I mean, I've seen a lot of reviews on this, so it's not like everything is going to um, be surprised, but I am somewhat surprised. You never know. I mean, for the most part, I think people are really honest about their reviews um, because a lot of the big YouTubers, like, what do they have to gain for lying? They've already established a really good viewership and lying to their viewers isn't going to help with that. So. You know, I don't think they're really going to gain anything from lying to you, so... But, that said, I am still very surprised of how nice it is. I'm going to take this third color in and um, just kind of work that also into the crease with the same brush. I'm really liking it. It's, so far, it's really pigmented. They blend really nicely. I'm going to take this color here and just put that um, over the majority of the lid see how that goes tap off some of that excess holy cow these are super pigmented oh my gosh yeah I'm, I'm I'm really impressed and I'm actually really happy about this we've got a lot of just like very <laughs> peach going on um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush, I'm going to take my uh, Scandinavia finishing spray and just wet this brush a little bit and then pick up, I'm going to pick up this shade here, it's the um, pinky second shade in, see if we can get some dimension out of that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna put that more toward the inner corner. It's pretty light. Um, you should be able to see that though. It definitely made a difference. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna touch on this gold color because I really like this gold. And I'm just using the same brush because I don't have like a jillion brushes to pull out. Um, so I'm just going to use the same brush because we're going to blend through that color anyway, so it's not really a huge deal. Okay, I'm just going to pop that on the center. Yeah, I'm really liking this. It's really pretty. I'm going to pick up this gold color again with a small detail brush. And I'm going to drag that along the bottom of my lash line. Oh my god, these are so great. Alright, another hundred years later. Um, I also lined just the upper rim with uh, Rimmel Scandal Eyes, just black. One of my all-time favorite drugstore pencil liners. Uh, they're amazing. They stay forever and yeah, I can't speak enough about them. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of contour, um, mostly bronzer, I don't do heavy contour, so um, with just the Jane Dream Bronzer, Matte Bronzer, really great value, you can get them at Ulta, um, super, super affordable, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Plenty for me. 
And now I'm going to use one of my new favorite products, the e.l.f. Um, let's see. Bronzed pink aqua infused uh, blush. It's super duper pigmented, so I have to be pretty careful, but you know, it's summertime and it's okay to look like you have a sunburn. <laughs> totally. No, don't. Don't put on so much that you look like you have a sunburn. It's a PSA, don't do it. All right, so we've got that. Um, I actually picked up a new highlighter, drugstore highlighter. Um, I love, you know, drugstore, obviously. I love budget, so I picked up this hard candy highlighter. Um, look at that, all like glowy and stuff. Hard Candy Highlighter, it is white, so we will see how this works. I'm gonna try to be pretty um, light-handed with it, but this shade is uh, Sheer Envy, and they're called the Prismatic Highlighters. Oh, Jesus. That just looks like straight powder on my cheek. It doesn't even look like highlight. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna just get rid of that. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't think that's gonna work for me, even for me, and I'm pretty light, so for it not to work for me, it's gotta be pretty, um, pretty chalky. So I'm just gonna go in with my new summer fave, um, Jeffree Star, Summer Snow Cone. My husband loves to be like, oh, I see, you, we, you got all done up. You are glowing all over. It's like, thanks, I'm noticing. It's like you made your face shiny. That's not a compliment. But I understand the intent. All right, I pleased with that. So we're gonna roll with that. Okay, so the last thing to do is just kind of powder in certain places. Oh, I forgot to put on mascara. Okay, I will powder first just in some of my spots where I tend to get oily, which is in my forehead, my nose, ow, and down in my chin area. And I'm just using the Fit Me, um, not new. I've had it for a while, um, but you know. All right. I'm gonna put on some mascara because what the hell? Who doesn't put on mascara? I do that a lot actually. That's like the step that I tend to miss the most is putting on my mascara. It's so weird, right? Using the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, I have quickly fallen in love with this. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to put powder on my under eye. <sighs> Such is life. What are you gonna do? It's too late now. And I just picked up the Cody Airspun powder, so I really wanted to use that, but. All right, y'all. Um, I picked up the Kylie Matte Liquid Lip and I got the shade Dolce K. So I'm going to try that out. Um, I think it'll look good. Um, you know, I don't want to go too crazy uh, for, like I said, it's just a backyard barbecue. So I don't want it to seem like I'm going over the top for no reason. So this is my first time trying these and I didn't get a lip kit. I forgot. I don't know what I was thinking. I just got a single lipstick um, when it was a buy one, get one free and you could get a lip kit. And I just, this shade called to me and I don't think they had it in a lip kit. So we're just going straight, no lips, no um, lip liner. I am really liking this formula. It's super easy to apply. Wow. That's like really easy to apply and it looks great. I mean, that was one dip in and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So this is the completed look. Um, I used the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. Um, really impressed. Like I will definitely be purchasing some other palettes of her. Y'all, 
Let's give this a... Whew! Okay. So, um, I will. I'll definitely be repurchasing new things from her collections. Um, like I said, it's kind of unfortunate because her stuff sells out so quickly that I'm probably going to be uh, disappointed. But, that said, I, um, I really liked it. I really like this lipstick as well. Um, and I think that I will definitely be purchasing some more of those. Um, I've never really owned a brown lipstick, so I was kind of stepping out of my comfort zone on that one. And I think it paid off. It looks really good. Sorry, I keep looking down on the monitor to kind of see what you guys are seeing. But I really like this. I hope you guys like this look. I hope you liked just chit-chatting with me. Um, but yeah, we're going to head out to that barbecue here in a bit. And um, I'm probably going to be avoiding the pool. Because, obviously. So, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for watching.